I didn't. I thought our defense was going to play a lot better, and I had no idea that our offense could play as well as they did. Uh, we, we had a few pleasant surprises on the offense, and I'm a little disappointed at the execution of our defense, but that's to the great credit of Bethune-Cookman, who did a very good job. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, some of the scoring from... In fact, we're going to see all the scoring. This is the first quarter. Anthony Thomas to Kevin Finney, and he'll do a good job taking this thing in from 15 yards out, up and over. The point was no good. Now you'll get a big play from your special teams here. I tell you, Thomas, their quarterback's an outstanding player. Yeah, Barry Key gets a great punt here. Blanford uh, knocks their uh, receiver loose from the ball there, and uh, Trujillo recovers it, and we get a first and goal there on the five. And then uh, Gilbert Barnes takes the ball in for the touchdown, which gets, ties the ball game for us after we kick the extra point. Okay, there's Gill in there, and uh, UCF would get the extra point. In fact, at that point, the Knights had a one-point lead. It was seven to six. And uh, then Boone Cookman would come back. They stayed right with UCF throughout the uh, throughout the first half. You'll see Thomas coming up here, and he will get one to James Jackson. This play would be good for 20 yards as Thomas does some nice scrambling. They would uh, then, in turn, as you will see, go for the two-point conversion. This time it was good. And then we had a, a 14 to 7 football game in favor of Bethune Cookman. Then Gil Barnes, who has done some. Pretty good running here for you lately, hasn't he? Well, Gilbert worked his way into the first team uh, spot there during uh, three-a-day practices, and we're very happy with him. Mark Giacone is also doing a very good job. 14 to 14 was the score at halftime. There was no scoring in the second period. Then in the third period, you we would get to see a little of uh, Shane Willis doing his stuff. This time we'll go up top to Sean Beckton. Well, you know, Beckton was the freshman last year that caught the third, the, the fourth down uh, fake punt against Bethune Cookman, give us a chance to get a field goal, which really helped us win the game last year. Beckton's from Daytona, so I know that they hated that. <laughs> it was 20 to 14. The point was no good at that time. And then still in the third period, here's uh, Shane once again. This time he'll go up top to Chantel Roundtree. This one was good for 32 yards and a touchdown. Another great play. And these were, were really made by the quarterback. However, Roundtree is a freshman, going to be an outstanding player for us. Great athlete. I'm uh, really happy to have those guys back for three more years. Once again, the point was no good. 26-14. Back came Bethune-Cookman. That was LeBron Sumter taking the pass from Thomas. And uh, that made it 26-21. Uh, to 21. They were back in the game. Well, they were back in the game, but uh, we were able to kick a field goal here. Travis Allen uh, kicks a field goal and puts us up by eight points. And after this uh, point, we started playing very conservatively. Ray Irvin kind of puts the game on ice right here with the interception to end, end their chances to win. And 29 to 21 again was the final. And let's take a look at uh, some of the key players from the game. And of course, you have to start with uh, the young sophomore. Well. Shane is, is just what I'd hoped he would be. Of course, he won the state championship at Lakeland Senior High School, his senior year in high school, proved uh, what he had. Here, uh, he scrambles and makes a key first down for us on third down. He does that a couple of times in the game. Shane's an outstanding uh, young man, and he's got two years after this to play with us. That was uh, John Osmond from Millersville, Georgia, that caught that pass. He's also a very good player. He replaced Donnie Grayson in this game. On the evening, Shane was 18 of 35 for 266 yards and two touchdowns. He had one interception, but uh, was very impressive in his first game as a starter for UCF. Well, I think we proved that we have uh, replaced Bernard Ford uh, reasonably well with our receiver court. That, by the way, was another great scramble for a big third down uh, play by Shane Willis. All right, you've got another guy who can catch the ball pretty well, and uh, we're going to take a look at him, Arnell.